just thought I'd ask Mick to uh, tell us a bit about the progress of the works and what we're up to at the moment. Uh, basically we've finished off the coffer dam wall which has been grouted and um, we've put grout, grouted columns on the perimeter um, and which has enabled us to start our bulk excavation for the, for the pump station. Dewatering has been one of our challenges. Um, we've stopped the majority of the water coming through with our coffer dam, and it's just a process of dewatering in the morning and um, being able to continue on the excavation. Any of the excess rock we're, we're making, we're using on the internal sides of the coffer dam for the rock revetment, which um, in a few weeks we'll start um, covering with. A cyclone mesh to secure it in place and so it can't slip away. The plant hasn't been a problem, so if we needed extra excavators like you see behind me here, um, they're usually readily available. Uh, securing uh, carpenters and steel fixes has been a little bit more tricky. Uh, we're trying to hire them directly, and uh, at the moment we're going to be sharing those between the high lift and the low lift pump station. Uh, the high lift pump station, the concrete works have already commenced, which is going to give us a few weeks head start, try and get most of that concrete works done before they'll be needed down in the low lift pump station to, to start doing the concrete works here. Here we've crossed the river um, onto the other side of the causeway where the copper dam is. Uh, you can see there we've got our silk boom protection around the coffer dam. The silt boom's there to protect any uh, sediment coming out of the coffer dam into the river. So that boom is sitting on top of the river and it's got a curtain that hits the base of the of the river bed um, and yeah it stops anything anything that could uh, going into the river. Any vehicles or plant all has to be refueled up at our compound. Um, yeah, no, there's no refueling or servicing near the river's edge or in the coffer dam. And daily we take uh, testing, do testing of the water, check the pH and the humidity. Uh, those results go to the environmental manager and he, he checks them off. Okay, we've come up the hill into uh, the, the high lift pump station. Uh, so from where we were, the low lift pump station sends or pumps the water to the high lift pump station. And the high lift pump station with its larger pumps, etc., pumps the water up over Gibraltar Pass and to uh, Little Borough Creek. Uh, we're standing inside a, what's a, an outlet pit. So if there ever was a, an incident inside the pump station, well they needed to divert the water out of the pump station rather than send it up over the hill, it would come through this pit and be discharged and it would find its way back down into the Murrumbidgee Creek. Uh, Mick, uh, whereabouts are we up to in this, in this area? At the moment we've um, just we've finished the bulk earthworks and we started on the um, detailed excavation um, for our footings for the actual building. Um, and that'll be ongoing for the next two weeks. In a week's time we're getting fencing here to uh, temporarily fence it off and establish our site compound over the, up the front there. Down at the low lift it's good because we're a bit, um, don't have as much wind as here. It's very windy up here so I'd say this would be the coldest part of the job. Uh, construction challenge of the high lift, uh, access. Uh, we are perched right on top of a knoll of a hill with a road very close to us so getting equipment in and out of here safely is, is quite a challenge. Uh, as we said, uh, wind. Uh, wind is not, especially when you're doing large slab pours, uh, you really don't want the windy days because it dries the concrete out and causes cracking in the uh, surface of the concrete. So we have to be very careful about the days we choose to do the pour and our curing regime to make sure that we don't get these uh, surface cracks. Following on from that, we've got a lot of trades to bring in. Um, everything that a, a building would normally have, so your structural steel, roofing, uh, internal finishes, uh, plumbing, all that has to be coordinated and, and got into this remote location.
seems to be progressing well. Um, once we start into our uh, detailed footings and once I see a bit more concrete, it'll be a bit better. Getting out of the ground, so which means uh, getting all the utilities into the ground is usually the hardest part. You open up holes and you cut off access to everybody. Uh, we've got 80% well, of those, Mick, would be yeah. in the ground now, which is all the conduits and then plumbing work. So we're starting to really you know, see a lot of changes on the surface, which is always nice. We have a great team, we're all working really well and we're working in a spectacularly beautiful environment as well. So it certainly makes it very easy to come down here and work in the, you know, the clean, fresh air and beside a lovely river. Looking forward to the snow. <laughs> yeah, it gets a bit chilly in the mornings and uh, it's only going to get worse, but the days are spectacular. So we're really enjoying it.